We've grown accustomed to rain, often equipped with umbrellas or raincoats, and it rarely genuinely upsets us. However, what happens when rain persists, flooding streets, confining us indoors? Or when we realize we can't afford the interest rate on our dream home? How do we react to plummeting investments or being laid off without severance? These are modern predicaments that continually plague us, casting shadows over our nights and filling our days with despair. But it doesn't have to be this way. Despite the challenges afflicting our society, we can learn to stay grounded. This is the essence of becoming Stoic in the modern world. Stoicism, an ancient Greek philosophy, guides us from vulnerability to the chaotic nature of the universe to a state of calm indifference. It's a method of fortifying ourselves for enduring peace of mind, yet adopting Stoicism requires effort and sacrifice. Stoics focus on distinguishing between what is within their control and what isn't. They recognize that the only thing truly within their control is their reaction to events, not the events themselves. While they can influence outcomes, misfortunes are often unpredictable and inevitable. The analogy of a dog tied to a cart illustrates the Stoic perspective. The cart represents everything beyond our control, and we have the choice to either run with it or resist and be dragged. To become Stoic is to run with the cart. Stoicism is about acknowledging that while we can strive to improve external circumstances, relying on specific outcomes is futile. Practicing Stoicism involves recognizing the limits of control, understanding the semi-deterministic worldview, and accepting that our reactions are the only aspect truly within our control. To implement Stoicism in our lives, we must shift our perspective on material possessions. The pursuit of happiness through acquisitions is a fleeting endeavor, as possessions break down or become obsolete. Stoics advocate voluntary discomfort, deliberately subjecting ourselves to discomfort in activities we enjoy. This challenges the hedonic adaptation cycle, fostering resilience and inner peace. Marcus Aurelius, an emperor and Stoic philosopher, applied Stoicism in his daily life. His meditations provide insights into Stoic practices, emphasizing viewing external events with detachment and focusing on the controllable, such as one's attitude. Marcus Aurelius also delved into human interactions, urging us to see others as part of the same intelligence. Stoics refrain from harboring resentment or assuming bad intentions. Instead, they focus on improving their own minds, understanding that internal attitudes are within their control. In navigating disagreements, Stoics avoid anger and seek understanding. Aurelius encourages educating others rather than indulging in anger, acknowledging that people pursue what appears to them as their proper good. In today's culture wars, Stoicism can guide us to approach differing opinions with understanding rather than anger. It prompts us to educate rather than insult, fostering genuine persuasion instead of seeking validation. Ultimately, Stoicism is a philosophy that equips individuals to face the unpredictability of life with emotional indifference, reinforcing their inner citadel. It does not absolve us of responsibility for problems we can influence, but acknowledges the vastness of what is beyond our control. It empowers us to focus on our efforts, make informed moves, and judge ourselves based on what we can control. Stoicism becomes a guiding principle for navigating life's challenges while remaining emotionally resilient.